In today's video we are going to create a custom alpha transition, which can be found in Power Director Transition section. Click on the Create New Alpha Transition icon that will bring up a dialog box in which you will need to select the file you want to use to create the alpha transition. If I choose an existing transition and hit the Edit icon, you can see that we need to create a simple pattern file. It can be colored or grayscale. The Power Director automatically converts it to grayscale for us. We will now create such a grayscale sample file using a Krita program. In Krita click New on the File menu, select the Custom Document option, from the Color Model list box select Grayscale Alpha. Press the Create button to create a white paper. By scrolling the mouse I zoom in a bit to see the whole picture. Now select the Gradient tool on the left panel and select the Tool Options tab to see the properties of the Gradient tool. From the shape list select the shape that suits you. I will show you now the functionality with the very first linear shape. Let's draw a line. The length of the drawn line also determines the size of the shape. If the result is not correct, press Undo. If the result is correct, click the Save icon, select the file format, I use the PNG type. Let's name the file and hit Save. A dialog box appears in which you can select the parameters for the selected file format. Let's now leave everything on default values and press the OK button. Switch back to the Power Director and let's create a new alpha transition. In the dialog that appears, select your saved gradient image. Click the Play button to see the results. Let's look at the inverse transition too. Great, I'm switching back to the Krita program and I show you the rest of the gradient shapes available in the shape list box. Now I'm going to create a more specialized texture, select the brush tool, then on the right side select a huge brush from the brush presets, which is great for creating textures. It is also extremely practical for creating alpha transition helper files. I draw a stained surface, at the end I save the finished texture. Switch back to the power director, I am creating a new alpha transition using our new texture. You can view it using the play button, save the new custom alpha transition, then drag over the timeline to the beginning of our clip and let's play what it looks like. Thanks for watching, if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next video, bye.